Hello. Today I will be teaching you guys how to make a lever combination lock. These items are in exact amounts, so collect these. Um, sorry about that. That's um, something I will I will ignore for the video. Okay. These items are in approximate amounts. The glass you will need up to four, and the torches you will need up to eight, depending on your lever combination. These items are for the door. I will show you them later. First things first, you are going to use eight of your planks and build that. Then place levers like so. Then place redstone repeaters like so. Then place these blocks. Then place these blocks. Now is the first part where you decide what your lock will be. If you want your lever to be on, well, this for the bottom row it applies the same. If you want the bottom row lever to be on, or which any of them, so place a redstone torch here with a piece of redstone dust on top of that block if you want your lever to have to be pulled. If you want it, if you don't want that, if you want it to be have to be not pulled, so if you want it so if you wanted it like that, you'd place redstone there. If you wanted it like that, like that, you'd place a redstone torch here with there. Okay, I've decided on my lever combination. You can decide on yours. Spend as much time as you like. Make sure you get it right. Once you've finished that, on the blocks that have redstone here, just place glass on top. That was why you needed up to four, because you could want to place them on all of them. There. Yeah. Then fill this in with oak planks and fill this in with oak planks. Then cover it with redstone dust. There. Good job. You've done well so far. Now you've decided your bottom row combination. Okay. Here. Place a temporary block, then block over it, and place this. I recommend you also place like that, and like that. Now you decide again. If you want the lever to be like this, on this side, place a redstone torch there. If you want it to be like that, place a piece of redstone dust here. I've decided on my combination. Take as much time as you want on yours. There. Oh, wait. I've decided to change mine. You can do this as much as you want. Oh. Oh, you. Okay. There. Okay. There. I have my code. When your code is correct, the redstone signal will be off. Now I will show you the doors. You can use any type of door you want, but if you want, you can use the ones I am showing you. You may need some more blocks for this. Here are the materials you will need. These are average once again, so do not expect do not expect that you will be finished with all of these. There. First things first, place two iron doors like so with redstone dust on top. This design is for the iron door door. That sounds very weird, but it's pretty cool too. There. Now place 
two redstone dust like so. When the signal, when your combination is wrong, the doors will close. Now I will show you the sticky piston one. First things first, you are going to want. Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna place them here, but yeah. Then place that, and then place your wall block. Then you want to place two blocks here, cover them in redstone. Get oh, I need repeaters. Sorry. Then place re four repeaters like so, and tick them all the way. Then we're want, going to want to go round to here, dig out, and place a redstone torch like so. Then place redstone dust here, dig out, redstone torch there. Then you're going to want to place your redstone here. Make sure it connects up around there. Okay. I'm going to change my redstone slightly as it will be quite tricky with the repeater. So I'm going to place it here like so. Then place a block there like so. And lead a block, a chain of redstone coming all the way round oh wrong direction sorry all the way round all the way to some of your redstone then place redstone on top here you will make need to make sure you do not touch that other piece of redstone there that's good. I recommend you place a redstone repeater around there. Maybe another one here too. There. For this one, you will need to use some of some glass. Like so. And place redstone on top. Then lay here a block and place redstone on it. Then create a trail coming from either end to here. Then put redstone on top. Oh, make sure that doesn't happen. Did for me, which I'm sorry about, but yeah. There we go. Now we should be ready to go. Let's test it out. Get your lock one. Okay, something appears to have happened here. Yeah. Oh. Ah, sorry. I needed to place a block there. Place a block to cover up your door, like so. There. Now I'm going to scramble my door. As you can see, it has shut. Now I'm going to solve it. And the doors will both open. You can cover up your redstone. So I recommend you keep your passageway one block long until you get to there, then you can extend. Or you could just increase it straight away. Doesn't really matter, but yeah. The only the only bit that you can see the redstone, which is slightly frustrating, is that piston there, but it's a sacrifice we're willing to make, right? Yeah, I think it is. It's fine if we can see two pistons exposed. Let's go. there on the other side you can build whatever you want 
I'm going to build a vault. Just so you know, this is not a working vault door in case I'm just building like that. I could make it into a vault door, but that will take too long. Now I'm going to fill it with copper, gold and diamond. As you can see, this is on 1.17. Oh, another thing that you should know. Pretty much all 1.16 redstone contraptions will also work on 1.17 as well. Which is really awesome. As luckily, they haven't changed any redstone. Goodbye. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I will be happy. I hope I can get... A high number of subs soon.